it could be. You know where the marshal is? He rode out of town. Said he was going out to meet someone. Thanks. We must have passed him somewhere along the road, Stoney. Well, let's backtrack and see if we can find him. Asked me about the marshal. They rode out looking for him. Who's that? That's them. That's the same two fellows. Come on. I'll take the big fellow. You two line up on the other one. And don't fire till I give you the word. You not to fire till I give you the word. I, cou I couldn't help it, boss. My elbow slipped. Where'd that come from? I don't know. I don't see anyone. We can still get them. There they are. That's the way they hold on. Let's go. Now where are they? There they go. Now, put up your hands, both of you. Right now. You fellas ain't going nowhere. Now, come on down here. That's fair enough. Now, before I plug you, who are you fellas? What's all the shooting about? We're U.S. government men. Will make any difference to you, old timer? Why shouldn't it make a difference to me? What are you doing around here? Yeah. We're looking for Dan Connolly. The marshal. Oh. Well, what do you want with Dan? Well, somebody in this territory's been selling mines. Selling them for a fancy price. That's fraud. The government sent us out here to stop it. Well, the marshal's been trying to do something to stop it, but he ain't had no luck so far. Yeah, I know. You wrote Washington about it. That's why we're here. We couldn't find him in town, so we came out here looking for him. You got papers, you say? That's right. Well, turn around and take them out. Now, careful, like. Oh, special agent to the U.S. government. All right, fellas. I guess you can relax. What about the marshal? Have you seen him around these parts lately? Oh, yeah, I've seen him around here. Uh, come on, I'll take you over where you can get a good look at him. You, you said you wanted to see the marshal, didn't you? That's right. Well, take a look in that brush. The marshal, all right. He's been shot in the back. Now, I pulled him in there to keep the buzzards away from him until I get a chance to bury him. How'd it happen? Well, now, the marshal came over here to visit me this morning. That's one of them that assaulted mine. I got stuck with it. Uh, the marshal said he had information that would just crack this thing wide open. Did he tell you what that information was? No, he didn't have a chance. That bullet knocked him off of that horse while he was talking to me. There's the slug in the post there now. Hey, he's right. I'll dig it out. You didn't kill him, did you? 
Well, where do your partner get that slug out of that post? And then you have the answer to that. What's your name? Bill Jones. All the folks around here call me Jonesy. You're a miner, aren't you? All my life. Best in the county. Well, then how'd they happen to fool you with a solid mine? With the old shotgun method? Oh, no siree. Anytime you fire gold into a rock with a shotgun, it just leaves the flakes right close to the surface. Now, any good miner knows that. But in this deal, I saw gold six inches deep in the vein. It sure looked like a real thing. But that blame it, then it petered out. And you don't know how they did it? Uh, no, sir. Uh, whatever it was, it was the slickest trick in the world, and a lot of folks got stuck with it. Hey, Pat, he's right about the bullet. The slug never came from that Winchester of his. The larger caliber, all right. Probably from one of those new Springfields. What'd you do when the shot was fired? You know, me? I just took one look at the marshal and saw he was dead. And I went from a gun. It, it was in the mine there. I guess that's the reason I was so honored with you fellas when I first seen you. You see, I was out looking for the fellas who had done it. How many people do you figure bought solid mines around here? Oh, lots of them. We made a lot of fuss about it, but I turned mine over to a lawyer in town. Mr. Young? Who'd you buy this mine from, anyway? Jan Layton. Oh, Mr. Layton is supposed to be one of the most respectable men in town. Well, we'd better go and have a talk with Mr. Layton. Thanks, Josie. Come on, Stoney. Just by looking at us, miss. Just by looking at us. You can ignore my friend. We'd like to see Mr. Layton. Oh, well, my father isn't in right now. Your father? Would you like to leave a message? I think that, uh... Oh, here he comes now. Dad, these men would like to see you. Oh? My name is Pat Gallagher. This is my partner, Stoney Crockett. Yes? We're with the United States government. There's been a lot of complaints in this area regarding the fraudulent sale of mining properties. And you've come to me about it? Well, the properties in question were sold by you. Gold mines. And they were all solid. Solid? How? Chloride of gold, Mr. Layton. Well, that's impossible. How could anyone get chloride of gold into solid ground? Because that's what they'd have to do to fool the people around here. I don't know. Not yet, but I intend to find out. And I'd like to hear your side of it. But, well, I haven't any side. I don't know anything about it. I didn't solve any mines, and I'm not answering any questions. Sorry you feel that way, Mr. Layton. Because there's a lot of questions I want answers for. And I intend to get those answers. Come on, Stoney. Dad, I have a feeling we should have talked to those men. I'm going to talk all right, but not to them. What are we going to do now? Well, that old miner said he had a lawyer here in town. I'd better have a talk with him. That's a good idea. There's his place there. Hey, uh, give me a dollar, will you? What for? Oh, I'm starved. I thought I'd get a sandwich. Well, if you're that hungry, you'd better have two sandwiches. Here's a quarter. Get the big fellow first. Take him while he's by himself, and you better do it out in the street. Make it look like an ordinary brawl. How about us? Do we back up the play? No, I've got other work for you fellas. All right, make it good. And the sooner you do it, the better. I 
Why don't you look where you're going? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Mr. Young? That's right. I'm Pat Gallagher. I'm with the federal government. Oh, sit down, Mr. Gallagher. Thank you. I'd like to talk to you about the solid mines in this territory. Oh, you must have been talking to Jones of the old miner. That's right. He tells me that you're his attorney. Well, after a fashion. After all, I can't very well take a case to court without evidence. And Jonesy certainly hasn't shown me anything to warrant legal action. You a horse doctor too, Mr. Young? Well, I, I'm sort of a, an amateur vet. Gus, put that in my saddlebag. Sorry for the interruption, Mr. Gallagher. That's all right. So you don't think Jonesy has much of a case? Not unless he can come up with some real evidence. After all, Jonesy claims he was sold a solid mine. Yet he admits to finding flakes of gold as deep as six inches. Now, who ever heard of solid ground being solid that deeply? It just can't be done. Some people seem to think it has been done, Mr. Young. Father, I've got... I have to talk to you. In a minute, Dan. I'm busy just now. That's all right. I have to go. Thanks for the information, Mr. Young. Hey, Pat. What goes? Did you find out anything? I'm not sure yet. I'll go over to the courthouse and have a look at some records. And I think I'll ride out and have a talk with old man Jonesy. You know, he seems to know more about this situation than anybody here in town. I think you're right. You stay here in town and keep your eye on things. Right. I know, I know. It's easy for you to say nothing will come of it. But the whole town's saving right now. I think you should openly declare that you've been my partner in these mining deals. It'd give me the support that I seem to need. Oh, now, Dan, you've been stampeded by a lot of rumors. You haven't sold any mines, have you? Certainly not, but a lot of people seem to think I did. All right, make them prove it. I still think we should announce that you've been my partner all along. Well, that would be foolish, Dan. I'll tell you why. If any of these so-called brains decide to take legal action, they'll come to me. I'll tell them they don't have a case, and they'll soon forget it. But they won't come to me if they know I'm your partner. Now, that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, maybe. But I don't like being in this thing alone. I've done nothing wrong, and all of a sudden, I find people accusing me. Well, if it keeps on, you're going to have to back me up publicly. All right, then. Now, you go back to your office and tend to business. Business. I'd like to give them all their money back and start the ranching again. Cactus, Gus. Our boys didn't have any luck with that government man, boss. I know that, and now Leighton's trying to give me trouble. Well, do we have a plan to take care of that? Yes, and you can get the people going on it right now. And you know what to do with that when the time comes. Get going. You go that way. Helen, I, uh, I'm worried. Well, what's the matter, Dad? I have the feeling something bad's going to come out of all this. It'll work out all right. No. No, I've been foolish, and I want to tell you about it. When I made the partnership agreement with Arthur Young, I let him talk me into a survival clause. Well, what does that mean? Well, if anything happens to Young or me, the survivor gets everything. Oh, well, he gave me a lot of smooth reasons for doing it that way, but I feel now he had a crooked motive. Well, you can change that, can't you, Dad? Not for another 60 days. And if anything happens to me in the meantime, 
You'll be left without a cent. Nothing's going to happen to you. I don't know. I'm telling you fellas, that Leighton is as crooked as a dog's hind leg. We ought to string him up. Leighton sold you a solid mine. Now he's brought in two gunmen to fight us. The marshal ain't even in town. We've got to be our own law. No, no, fellas, I'm telling you, Young had nothing to do with it. It was Leighton. I say we should string him up. Find some. Look through that pocket. There's your evidence. That's chloride of gold used for salting mines. He's your cook. Let's hang him. Bring him on, man. Have your breath, Leighton. It'll soon be over. Take up the slack. Give me that whip. Clear out of there. Get back, man. Get back. This is it, Leighton. Yeah. Cut him down.
bad, Miss Layton. Got anything on me? Stoney, get his saddlebag and his rifle. Are you going to let these fellows get away with this? You know Layton's guilty. These men are obstructing justice. This is your saddlebag, isn't it? Well, is it? Yes. You all know what this is? A hypo. Used for treating horses and cattle. But you used it to treat quartz. That's how he solid your minds. Now that's how he did it. Leighton had nothing to do with it. Young here was Leighton's silent partner. With Leighton out of the way, he'd have had everything. But if you don't believe me, check your courthouse records. You're lying. This is your saddlebag, isn't it? You filled this with chloride of gold. Injected it into the quartz. That's how you solved those mines so deeply. Yes, and this is the rifle that you used to kill Marshal Connolly. I got the bullet here to prove it. All right, folks, there's your prisoner. Lock him up. I, uh, I don't know how to thank you, boys. Don't try. We're glad we're able to help. Wish you boys didn't have to go. I wish we didn't either. Look out, kid. You'll be getting yourself in the deep water. Bye, Helen. We'll be back sometime. I hope so. We'll be back sometime. What are you getting old? Does that mean you want to settle down? Quiet. Come on. Bye. Good luck, boys. <laughs> 